Mrs. Gilling back for your lesson 15 video assignment. Your last one with some instructions on your focus notes and your, your last discussion assignment. But before we have that, you know it is time for the joke of the unit. All right. What does a depressed tortilla say? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Get it? Taco, taco about it. <laughs> oh, in case you're wondering, uh, the weight of my heart is actually tacos. My husband doesn't buy me flowers anymore because he's learned that's not about flowers for me. It's about tacos and tacos are what make me happy. But anyways, I love a good, uh, a good taco joke. All right. Well, let's talk about your focus notes for this, this uh, lesson here. So this one's a little bit different. You're not going to be watching a video for it. Instead, there's an article that you're going to read that's embedded into Strong Mind. It's going to be the next thing that you come to. So instead of clicking right right on your focus note sheet and submitting it right now, you're going to click on a page where you download your focus note sheet and then you'll click on the next page and you'll read the article. And then after that is where you'll have the submission page for that focus note. So you'll grab it in a page. So you have it, you can work on it, read the article, and then you'll, you'll turn it in. So on the next page, you're going to read an article titled Beyond the Blues, Depression by Kathy Ann Kowalski. It's actually a, a really great article because depression is such a, um, a rampant thing in society that we have. And so it's really important to, to learn about it and, and how people can be helped with it. The different treatment options and the different uh, therapies that are available to help people and there's different signs and symptoms to look for in it. Because it's definitely a very, very real thing. And so, yeah, I definitely encourage you to, you know, read the article and pay attention and, and learn as much as you can. So while you read the article, you're going to fill out your worksheet, just like the other ones. You're going to write down five things that you learned from the article, four things you found interesting. That's your, your connections. And again, you know what to do here. If you don't think anything's interesting, which I'm sure you will, it's actually a really good article. But if you don't, then the four least boring things that you could think of, uh, three things that you learned that you want to tell other people about. So three things that you're like, whoa, that was, that was pretty fascinating. I'm, I'm going to let someone else know about this stuff. And there's again, a lot in this article for you to, to do there. Uh, if, if there's nothing that you really like genuinely plan to tell people about, if you had to tell three people, what would you put? Two questions you still have. And, and I think you'll probably have a lot of questions after reading this one. So, so pick two of them. That's some more processing. And then the last step is a one sentence summary of the, of the article. It says video there. It should say articles. The one sentence summary of of that article. If you had to sum it up in one sentence about what you learned, what, what was it? And remember to include your pictures here on the side. Here's your reminder, as always, about the rubric and how it's graded. So five things you learned, you get 25 points for that part, 20 points for the four things that you found interesting, 20 points for the three things you learned that you plan to tell others about, 20 points for the two questions you still have, 10 points for your summary, and then I'll give you five points just for finding some of those pictures that help you remember things. So pretty straightforward. Um, this one will also help you with your discussion post that's after it. So here's the discussion post you'll have. So earlier in the lesson, you read an article by Kathy Ann M. Kowalski called Beyond the Blues Depression. Using at least one complete sentence for each question, please answer the following questions. So number one, what are two common symptoms of depression? And they will list a few different symptoms in that article. Number two, what was the most interesting thing you learned in the article? So what, what stuck out to you the most in that article? And I think this is the most important question. Number three, if you had to give one suggestion to help a friend struggling with depression, what would it be? There's a lot of suggestions also in that article. Some of the biggest things to remember as you're working on this are, again, to use complete sentences for each question. You should have at least three complete sentences here. And make sure that you know, you're really referencing that article that you're showing that you have an understanding of it and not just kind of making things up on the fly. This is the rubric for this, this uh, discussion post. So you get 30 points for listing two common causes of depression in a complete sentence. You get 30 points for sharing the most interesting thing you learned in a complete sentence. And then you get 40 points for the suggestion that you would, would give to your friend. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please reach out to me, but I'm definitely excited to, to read your posts on this and to see what you learned. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.